Hello and welcome. It is, it is the 27th day of December 2017. My name is Derek and welcome to uh, this video where I'm going to go over my portfolio, the 47 cryptocurrencies that I hold. And I held a couple dozen more than that uh, a month ago, maybe a bit more. Months ago, I had over a hundred down to 47 one of them is worth nothing 46 of them are worth something but only a small few of them are worth anything significant many of them are trading vehicles in the attempt in increasing my white coin total risk reward management for myself is job number one and everything you do is always within your own risk and own reward, whether you know it or not. But that's another way of saying if you listen to whatever information that you get from somebody and you win, that's your winning. Show I want my money. But if you lose, you lose. That's part of the game. The opposite of the word risky is rewardy. Now, I don't know if rewardy is a word, but it should be. Because anytime somebody tells you stuff like, oh man, that's really risky. Well, yeah, it's got some risk to it, so it's risky, but there's, it's really rewardy as well, especially when gains have already been surfacing in and significant ones at that. So therefore, let's get on to the list. Starting with the bottom, the 47th most valuable coin worth nothing in that of B3 coin. And then the rest of the bottom of the list. And... The last draft pick in the NFL draft has always been known as mystery relevant. And then you can look at the bottom end of a large list. It's always, there always has to be a bottom end of a list. And that's what this one is. So with fact on Pacific coin, feather coin, Bitbean, Nexus, Bitbay, game credits, black coin, Einsteinium, and peer coin. They are all just plays traded against Litecoin, with the exception of Pacetic coin, that's traded against Bitcoin. B3 is not trading anywhere right now because I can't move it where I have it. And several spots where you could have it, you can't move it. It stated that the developers need to get their asses in gear, basically, to get to get, to get it functionable. So it sounds like it's one of the coins going to nothing. So I'm actually enthusiastic that I have finally uh, seen my first coin go to nothing yes that's okay yeah sounds well that doesn't sound too great well you know a bunch of them are and what's it gonna look like when something like that happens of course i'm gonna be hoping things get in order and i can trade this later on for whatever i can get but codes like this from 37 to 46 is just a measure to try to gain in the crypto trading market as is the case from number 25 to 36 Every single one of these codes I am trading primarily and solely rather, not primarily, solely against that of Litecoin. None of these are traded against Bitcoin. They are very low percentages to my bankroll, but they're all just little bits to either help bring them go higher or lower depending on of course how the trading uh, markets move. In most cases, they do pretty good. And of course, overall, they have it has done fantastic for me. But as we move on this list with Bitcoin Cash, Verge, Cannabis Coin, Omis Go, Do Doji Coin, Pot Coin, Augur, Stratus, ETC, 10X, Red Coin, and I'm not going to pronounce the last one, GRS. All of these are traded against Litecoin. We're gonna move on to the next list. And with all of these coins, I am looking to accumulate them as well as some other ones I don't have. But I am waiting for a push within my top coin that is light coin. And a lot of these uh, markets that I've showed already have buy orders ready to go against Litecoin. For when Litecoin has amazing rallies, then when it, within its base market, it's just going to be more likely that I buy alternate coins rather than sell. And then, then coins that I've already sold off, like Vertcoin, Populous, 
Those are two coins that I had, and even several others. I'm going to be looking to just manually get back into when I notice it's like coin ratio, even though it's not traded against such, is it a buy opportunity? Litecoin is 44.68% of my bankroll. That is better than four ninths of a percent, but microscopically more than four ninths of the bankroll. I heard recently Jason at four mentioned he's got about 85% in there. Joe, I hope that works out for you huge, and I think it will. Obviously, because my portfolio is set in a high, high, heavy, top heavy situation, where it's like Litecoin and Bitcoin. Now, for me, Bitcoin is basically money, really, for me. Its uses is buying real things and buying cryptocurrencies. They're isn't much more within it. Again, you're trading against Pacetic coin and well, OK Cash is, pro is only traded for me against Bitcoin, as is EOS, as is Civic. But everything else, ZEC, Pillar, NEO, uh, Extra Bytes even, only trading it against Litecoin. Now let's talk about Extra Bytes here for a second, XBY. Talked off and on about this for quite some time now. And the game I am playing, and this is all a game. It's within a theory, of course. So I'm executing the theory of the game. Is that because Extra Bytes XBY has a mind of its own. And when I say mind of its own, its price action will move up and down without any care, it seems, to what the rest of the markets are doing which is exactly what I am looking for within the Litecoin crosses. So that in situations, right now XBY is at 1500 Satoshi. For all I know, in three days, this thing could easily be three to 5,000 Satoshi. It could be 600 to 800 Satoshi as well. So I'm just gonna be playing the move swings up and down. And there are two markets outside of the main Bitcoin, uh, outside the dollar one rather, the Bitcoin and the Litecoin markets that are just going to change everything because when Litecoin has major moves higher, that means I'm gonna be looking to be buying XBY. And if Litecoin has any major falls that I don't expect, but if they do, then I will be obviously selling these altcoins and accumulating even more Litecoin. Now, there's a big difference between number six and number seven. Codes number one, two, four, five, and six. Litecoin, Bitcoin, Dash, Ethereum, and Monero trade against each other. I trade Litecoin against Bitcoin, Dash, Ethereum, and Monero. Bitcoin against Litecoin, Dash, Ethereum, and Monero, and so on and so forth. So those are the interesting five that I have. After reading some information within the most recent WebBot report, I am much more confident on Dash than I am Ethereum now. So I have sold an okay, decent amount of Ethereum and I've added a bit of Dash, but no, I'm going really heavy, mostly towards Litecoin. What I also got to do is tail more information from people. I find it actually too. I know that's why you're coming to these videos and other ones. Here's Joe talking about Civic and everything, the trader boss, and oh man, this, I might as well buy some, and I did, so we'll see how well it does, but if you find something out on a source you can be confident with, you in your, your decision if you want to make your own risk and own reward, I mean, I guess got to go ahead and make some uh, risks here and there, even if it's just a small amount, like one four hundredth of my bankroll, I mean, that's a decent amount when you consider what its net sum is worth. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Again, I'm waiting and thinking that Litecoin's going to be doing very well when it has remarkable pushes. I will be selling Litecoin for the other ones. And then on the following retracements, I'll be selling what I just bought back for Litecoin. Thank you for tuning in to this afternoon's video, although I'm recording this at 11.44, 11.04 a.m. rather. 
Have yourself a great day, great uh, week, and into the new year, as I think the crypto games as we move forward is going to be very profitable for a few years. Bye-bye.